Aye. Um, just a video to show you the arrowheads I've been making for fun. Um, these are all made from indirect percussion. Um, there's a huge selection of different types here. They're all uh, types that are found in the British Isles um, or even Scandinavia, some of them. Um, they're all kind of generic. Um, this one here uh, is um, a green low type. Uh, it's a type that appeared um, in the Bronze Age in the UK with the arrival of the bell beakers. This one is a Conegar Hill type, similar to the green low, but with barbs the same length as the tang. These are all made with indirect percussion and then pressure flaking to finish them off. Um, I'm still practicing and by no means an expert at this. This is, again, it's a, a bell beaker style, a Bronze Age style that was normally found in Ireland um, with the hollow base there. Uh, types like this can also be found in Scandinavia. This one's particularly nice, it's really thin, very thin, made a raw English flint. It's very transparent, very see through. This flint, I can almost read a newspaper through it. You can see my finger through it there. It's uh, very translucent um, and very sharp. This one's interesting. This one's a, a replica of the arrowhead that killed Bootsy the Iceman. Um, these are alpine style um, arrowheads from the Chalcolithic or the Copper Age, so the period in between um, the Stone Age and the Bronze Age. Um, yep. These are Neolithic style leaf shaped arrowheads or lozenge shaped arrowheads. Uh, again, made with indirect percussion pre uh, flaking and pressure to finish them off. This one's nice and thin again. Almost disappears when you turn it on its side. Um, this one here is made of Irish flint that I found on the beach and washed up. So uh, another leaf shape, common in Scotland, very common leaf shape design in Scotland with the bi-pointed point there and a point there. Um, it's a type that I like to make myself. Um, here's another simple leaf shape point, again, bifacially flaked with percussion and pressure. Um, one of my favourite types uh, has to be the leaf shape point. Um, I've shown you a few of them already. This one's a nice one. Very pretty, pretty aesthetically pleasing design. Again, there's another one. Another leaf shape flaked over both faces with percussion and pressure flakes. So yeah, it took us about a year to learn how to make these. Um, I'm getting there with it, I'm not the best. This is a nice one. I really like these leaf shaped points. But um, there you have it. I want to give a shout out to Jack Crafty because it's his techniques that I've been using to make these. Um, he's managed to shorten my learning curve by a long, long time. If it wasn't for his videos, I'd still be mucking about trying to pressure flake raw stone and smashing my wrist to bits. So I really appreciate his methods and the videos and the work that he does. Um, so basically, that's all I've really got to say about that. I'm going to be uploading more videos about me actually making these things. Um, this one is a Kilmarnock type with the pointed tang and the barbs shorter than the tang and it's a type normally found in Scotland. Um, yep, that's about it. Again, more leaf shaped ones. But I, I will upload again a video of me making these at some point, maybe once I've invested in a better camera. Um, until then, bye for now.